Hello everybody, in this video we show you some tips and tricks for the tower. This is of course not all of them, some of them you might find useful when doing runs. Now I've been finishing a tower every single time without a problem, I also share builds on my channel so you might want to check it out. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so let's begin. First of all, uh, this is for the tower of the time we're making this video, and this might change of course for uh, other towers later on, but this is for the second uh, boss, so I'm going to show you exactly when you need to put the scatter bomb before the boss spawns to be able to eliminate him immediately after he spawns. Basically, you need to go over to this square, stand on it, and then put the bombs, and it will spawn where the one close to you, you can see this one, and it will just gone. And then you can just go. You don't even need to wait for it. Just go next to the door and press the door and move on. Now in Flow 23, make sure you don't stand where the, those things drop then. You can die. Yeah, it can happen. Now some enemies can actually get stuck, although it's, if you get a certain angle you can actually shoot them. But you can use a love medallion to just make them friendly. And if all of them, if it is the last enemy, you can actually just axe it. So basically that's the way to actually deal with this. If you don't find an angle to eliminate an enemy that is stuck. Now when you put scatter bombs on the ground make sure you maneuver enemies toward the bomb. You can easily eliminate them. They will come towards you and you just maneuver them and you can elim eliminate group of enemies very very easily. Now against bosses again the poison, voice strike and gun combo will deal Damage, especially with your, when you go melee as well, you're just going to delete so much damage. So definitely recommend trying it out. As you can see, it's just absolutely insane. So try it yourself and see if it works well for you. Uh, depends of course on the tower, this works very well for the last boss. So I definitely recommend trying it out. Now some armor like mystery armor and the wolf armor can actually heal your pet. So use it when your pet is low, stay close to it one, once you heal, also heal your pet if necessary. In this situation I didn't want the pet to die, I wanted to tank the elder man, so basically I heal both of us as you can see, see soon, now, and now he's full and we can attack the elder man successfully without him dying and the elder man actually targeting me. Nice! Now of course you can use the iron amulet on yourself, but why? Why be like that? Also use it on your pet, in this case the golem to protect it from creepers and from damage in general. Trust me, if he could, he would have thanked you. And just so you know, you can take the TNT to the next level and use it in the next level. I mean, why not? Maybe it will be useful, maybe in other towers, but you can, so why not? Use it when you like. Amazing, but you can also take potions into the next run. Keep in mind that the timer still runs even if you are at the shop, so make sure you do it a bit quickly, you know, so you'll have more time with this. I mean, strength potion is really, really good, right? As you can see, move on to the next one. Cool! Now, always pay attention to the perks of the mystery armor. They can be different in different runs, so you might get something really cool like life leech, for example, and other cool things. Maybe it can really complement your build and you might decide alright, it's a really good time to take it. So pay attention to the perks of mystery armors when you are shopping. Now the medallion, the love medallion artifact has a great distance, so don't try to get too close, you don't need it. If so, you might die. <laughs> so if you wonder the exact location where to put the scatter mine for the first boss in the tower of well at the time making this video, as you can see here, this is the point just put it and you can see that the boss, well, gone. Bye bye, corrupted cauldron. Now if you follow my recent build, uh, well, you can actually be really cool and go with upgrading the scatter crossbow. Why you ask? I know, because when you upgrade it to unique you get her crossbow, which is amazing, we can shoot 5 projectiles and it's insane. Actually now I'm actually using it in my build, though it wasn't showing the build, but now I actually upgrade this one because it's just more useful and fun. Now in some situation where you have wind, those wind paths, you can actually walk there even if it's active, so don't just spend time waiting, just go up, we want to push you, just stay a bit to the left, just you know, not to be on the left, so you won't fall. 
Now using shift and attack to just stand in place and not move is actually can be very good at certain situation. So just use it, try to get close and get hit. And okay, you can walk away from exploders, creepers, so they won't hit you. Just walk away from them, let them explode. They might actually eat other enemies nearby, which is pretty cool to watch. Now if you have snowball, you can actually stay close to your golem. So the snowball will actually have, you know, prevent enemies from actually uh, exploding on him and attacking him if you just you know he's just tanking enemies right he's getting the damage he can get less if you stay there and just you know watch over him with a snowball speaking about snowball when you have the snowball eliminate the small enemies fast then you have less enemies and the snowball if upgraded to level 3 can stop at two enemies at the same time so focus on the small ones and then go to the larger ones uh, because again it will take more time to eliminate the larger ones also focus on the dude that actually cause enemies to um, get enchanted. It will be easier for you to eliminate others, of course, faster. But you probably know it by now. But again, if you was the snowball, prioritize, uh, you know, the small enemies and the ones that's actually enchanting. So you can actually get in and just, you know, just stun enemies and that's it. Then it's going to be very easy. If they, even if there are quite a few of them, you can easily take control of the, the area very quickly. Another tip is try to be a bit, uh, well, aggressive uh, in certain situations because sometimes the best points to actually uh, fight from are not at the beginning. You can actually get to a choke point where you get stuck and basically you have nothing to do and you can easily die. So basically, try to stay close uh, to areas. For example, here I'm just going to the down and then to the balcony, which is the easiest place to actually be. Then I can just have more room to maneuver around. So always when you try, try to get to certain places that are not kind of uh, corners. Right? So you have more room to maneuver around and eventually you get more time for the cooldowns and you can easily see I'm controlling this balcony. Now, this is one of the floors that actually caused some issues for many players but as you can see here I have so many things. I can wait for the cooldowns, I can shoot even bow with poison, I can do whatever I like. I have so much time because I'm more aggressive and move towards this location rather than staying down and fighting the enemies. So this is it, just a few tips. I hope you found this one useful. More will come of course. Uh, so again. The thing is that more practice, it would be very easy for you. Right now, of course, I practice a lot and I know what build I'm actually using and I'm finishing every single time. Sometimes I die with you know, a silly mistake, but overall, uh, it's going to be a walk in the park. If you want to know some builds, make sure you check my channels. I'm sharing more builds and more will come, uh, which are almost guaranteed for you to complete uh, the tower. At least, again, the, the current tower is of the time of making this video. Uh, when there are more towers, of course, I'm going to share more videos about this as well. So make sure you press the bell button to get notified when I release those videos. Subscribe if you like. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.